Welcome viewers. This is a short tutorial on how I install Android x86 on a mini PC with an expandable storage bay. To get started, you will need the following things. 1. A custom Android x86 ROM from a developer in ISO format. 2. The latest Windows program called Rufus. 3. A spare flash drive with at least 4GB storage. And 4. A Windows Mini PC with a SATA expandable storage bay or caddy as some people call it. Complete the following steps. Step 1. Provided that you have already downloaded the custom ROM, installed Rufus, and your flash drive is ready. Plug the flash drive into any USB port on your main PC or laptop computer, not the mini PC as yet, and open the program Rufus. On the Rufus program, click on the bootable disk option and select the ISO image. Next, click on the disk icon and browse to the folder where you downloaded the x86 ROM and select it. Ensure that these options are selected and click Start. Rufus will ask you to format the flash drive. Click Yes, but keep in mind all data on the drive will be lost, so make sure it's a flash drive you are not using. Once the process is completed, remove the drive from the computer and now plug it into the mini PC. Step 2. Provided that you have already installed the SATA drive into the expansion bay of the mini PC, you are ready to install the operating system. For this process to run smoothly, I recommend that you use a wired keyboard connected to the mini PC, because wireless keyboards don't get recognized until Windows or whatever operating system starts. Press the power button on the mini PC, and on the keyboard, continuously tap on the F2 key until you enter the mini PC's BIOS screen. Step 3. At the BIOS screen, using the direction keys on the keyboard navigate to the exit screen, and scroll down to your flash drive and hit enter. In this demonstration my flash drive is the Kingston Data Traveler. Then once you see this screen, quickly press the down button to prevent the PC from trying to boot off of the flash drive. You can run the operating system directly off of the flash drive itself but that is not what we want for this demonstration. We want to install it onto the SATA drive, so scroll down to the installation option and click enter. Once the post-boot process is complete, you will be taken to this screen for you to select which drive you would like to install the Android operating system. Carefully identify the SATA drive because you don't want to install it on any other drive that contains your Windows operating system. This is done by looking at the drive size and name. Once you have identified the SATA drive, hit enter on the keyboard. Step 4. This step is very important. You are given four options to format the drive. For this process to work well, you should format the drive using the EXT4 format as this format allows the Android operating system to utilize the entire drive as internal storage, and not 16 and 32 GB like other Android x86 platforms. Select Yes to confirm, and wait for the format process to complete. Once formatting is completed, you are then asked to install EFI Grub 2. This is very important, because this writes an installation entry into the BIOS for it to be listed as a bootable device after the process is completed. Next you may be asked to override any existing entries if this operating system was installed before. I already had entries so I will override any existing ones. You may not have any if you are doing it for the first time. The next option, seeing that we have so much storage space to play with, select yes, and allow the installation to commence. Step 5. Though this is a simple step it's very important and must be done right. Highlight reboot, but the aim is not to boot up yet, but to boot back into the BIOS, because you have to set the BIOS to boot directly off of the SATA drive now containing the Android operating system. So what you have to do is to hit enter on reboot, and tap F2 on the keyboard quickly to enter back into the BIOS again. If you messed it up, you will boot into Windows. Don't worry about it. 
Simply restart the PC and tap F2 again to enter into the BIOS. Step 6 is the final step. Remove the flash drive from the mini PC and navigate to the boot screen options. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen to where it says hard drive disk drive BBS properties and enter. Highlight boot option 1 and hit enter. Select Android x86 and hit enter. Escape back to the main BIOS and navigate to the exit screen. Select Save Changes and Exit and select Yes. At this point you will see the same boot up option same as the flash drive but with no installation option. Don't stop the boot process and you will be taken to the first boot screen of the x86 ROM. It is going to take about 2 minutes to boot for the first time. Once completed, you are taken to the launcher. So this concludes my tutorial on how to install any Android x86 custom ROM on a mini PC. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future.